Hello guys, we're seeing Godox Who, and today we're going to review Torchwood Series 1, 2, 3 and 4. This month we're reviewing that, but today we're reviewing Series 1. And we're splitting the video into two parts, so it's not a long ass video. So I will review Series 1 Part 2 uh, in a couple days time. Possibly on a Saturday or a Wednesday, whenever this video has been released. Um, yeah, I'm going to review Episode 1, Everything Changes, all the way to Countryside. I'm going to get onto that in a minute, I just want to say, could you please subscribe to Go Doctor Who? We're trying to get to 100 subscribers before uh, the end of the year. It'd be amazing if we could get to 150 around about that time. Um, yeah, and also, I'm going to do top 10 rankings of uh, characters from Torchwood, monsters, 5 worst episodes of Torchwood, and best... Uh, best five episodes of Torchwood as well, uh, with a better title than what I just said. Anyway, let's just get into the review, basically, of Torchwood Series 1, Episode 1 to Episode 6. Right, so first episode, got my notes to keep on track. Uh, everything Changes. Now, Everything Changes is in, like, a Rose aspect. It's like, um, basically, um, Rose waking up, we have the first ten minutes of Rose, and then we get the Doctor mystery, because it's a spin-off of Doctor Who. Which is why I'm doing it on the channel, because otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Um, but yeah, um, we see Gwen, and we see her life, and then we suddenly see the change uh, with that. Uh, and we see a mystery towards Torchwood and Captain Jack. And with that, we see Gwen as a policewoman, and we get to see her investigate and change and stuff like that. And we get... Um, uh, her husband, which is Owen, I, no, it's not Owen, it is, let me just think, Reese. yes, sorry, he is kind of a Torchwood member, kind of not, and I do love Reese. Reese is funny, and it brings Gwen back to reality, it keeps her on track, and we'll get more onto that in a bit, but anyway, um, everything changes, we focus on a weevil, uh, or, yes, the classic Torchwood villain, the Weevil, and we get to see that as a mask in a hospital, and it rip into someone to shreds, and it looks graphical as hell, and it looks good, and for the time it's been set in, it still stands up to date, today's standards with the CGI. Um, some CGI is a bit naff, and we'll get onto one of the episodes that completely mess up the CGI in some fight scenes. Um, yeah. Uh, I like Gwen in this, it's like a rose aspect, we see Torchwood through her eyes and it's a mystery and she's trying to unravel it and then people are telling her Torchwood stay away and then we're also getting uh, the, um, that pill that Captain Jack puts in her drink to make her forget, uh, then she remembers and Susie is the villain of this story in a way, she's uh, killing people so she can learn more about this glove that can bring people back to life. And I think that's an interesting subject and it's definitely different and Torchwood can do that dark aspect of there's nothing left when you die, uh, it's nothing. And that leads into series two in a little uh, plot thread and I like that. Uh, and it's also, we learn Captain Jack's mystery a little bit. He can't die, why can't he die? Uh, and um, we leave that throughout the series and that little plot of why can't he die and the Torchwood team don't know a thing about Captain Jack even though if they're, he's the leader of the Torchwood uh, gang in a way. Uh, we see a bit about Owen as a doctor. We can definitely see Tosh as uh, a technical genius with the computers and the system and the software. Um, yeah, there's a lot of introductions of the characters, uh, obviously. Yonto's the butler, um, yeah. Then we move on to, also a little reference from series three, check my notes, the spandy, the spandy, the spare hand of the 10th Doctor, uh, that is a little reference, even way from series one. Uh, just check my notes, yes, Susie's a villain, she kills herself, she also kills Jack, Jack brings back to life, we see that mortality for the first time, Gwen sees it and gets the reaction, uh, we also see the dinosaur, I don't know the dinosaur name, but there's a dinosaur in the Torchwood hub. Why not? And the CGI is alright for that, I think, to be fair. Uh, yes, 
I do love it and Gwen joins the team and that is basically introduction to Torchwood and I love the weevils and I love Gwen's reaction to this brand new world and she even does some police investigations throughout the series and we see the police for a little bit and she's getting hit in the back of the head and stuff like that and yeah I really love it and Andy the policeman he's he's amazing uh, a 9 out of 10 now we're on to episode 2 and basically episode 2 is the sex monster it's Gwen's first um, day on the job and Gwen is basically I did mention 9 out of 10 didn't I for the first episode I think so anyway um, yes Gwen has is on a date with Reese. Reese is bringing her back to reality, normal life, and Torchwood sends her off. And Torchwood gets, uh, brings her a call and she has to go to work early. And she messes up on the job and this sex gas creature comes out and starts going into this woman in a uh, nightclub and then she starts having sex and orgasm. She likes the orgasm, the feeling of it. And uh, the orgasm kills the host, in a way. Am I getting that right? Kills the guy that's basically fucking her. Uh, I am gonna have to put this as not for kids because it's torturous, so I might as well swear a little. She basically she's fucking the um, the guy in a way, and um, he just turns to dust, and she feeds off that orgasm energy. Uh, then we on to um, basically her fucking everyone, and even her ex, which she knows she's killing people, so she does it to her ex on purpose, and that's quite interesting. Uh, way she's been treated and everything and she is a nice girl and then she, that happens to her and it's kind of Gwen's fault and that's why Gwen takes her responsibility at the end of the episode to say it's my fault Jack I need to take this it need, the gas needs to come into me and Jack kind of puts it on the device and traps the orgasm gas thing in the air and it dies and that's the end of that villain but we learn a bit more about the torture team we see Yonto uh, as the butler a bit more, and in witty one-liners. We also see Gwen, obviously. We see um, Tosh with the technical uh, equipment and her working in the car, and Captain Jack taking more control. Uh, an 8 out of 10, I really thought this story was interesting. Also, this a handy spare hand. That's a, such a hard sentence to say fast. Um, yes, that... She break the, the sex monster breaks the hand, Dave Kent's hand in the jar, basically. Captain Jack's like, no! And then he gets another jar, I so, so, presume, can't speak, presume, he's thinking there's another hand out there to put in a jar. Otherwise, he's just got a spare one. Oh well. Um, episode three now, the ghost machine. And this is an interesting one. This kid has this mach uh, machine, which we later learn, and there's two. There's one that sends you to the future, and you know your future. He saw how he's going to die as a young person, and he's afraid of death from the future. But he's also got this other device to see into the past. And um, we first see this with Gwen chasing, proving her worth to the team, and she just misses the guy, but she catches the coat. And in the coat is that device, and she presses it, and she gets sent back in time to a little boy who then, when... That dream sequence is all over from World War setting. Uh, she tries to find this boy, and he's an old man now. And they have a lovely conversation with Gwen. He's such a nice old man. You have that little reality check. And then um, that happens later on, again, with, Go with Owen. And Owen sees a rapist, and he's raping her, and he's abusing her, and she's screaming. She doesn't like it. It's a young girl, and they do believe he killed her. And she was meant to be back at her mom's at nine, which Owen uses them words against the rapist when he see when he goes back from the dream sequence or the past uh, with that machine. What he pressed by accident um, when it went off, um, he con he contacts the rapist and threatens him, and later on leads to the rapist's death. And Owen's so furious and ready to kill, and uh, but. We get the other device, which the boy says he's going to die and stuff like that. And um, Gwen presses the future. Well, it just goes off and she sees the future with a knife in her hand, blood and saying, Owen, Owen had the knife. So Gwen thinks Owen killed the pedo, uh, but not the pedo, the rapist, sorry. And um, Gwen has to, do, uh, to try and prevent this. She has a word with Captain Jack. It's a lovely, nice scene. And also, I think we do believe... 
in this episode, Gwen gets trained with Captain Jack with the guns, and that is such a fun scene. I love that. Gwen's training up with the guns, and Captain Jack's showing off, and it's such a beautiful scene. Anyway, back to the story. Um, yeah, Gwen uh, and Captain Jack are trying to talk about multiple futures, and then we get to see this play out, and the rapist is uh, saying thank you for not letting G Owen kill him, but she had the knife, and he went into him, and he died. So the future still happened with that device, what she saw from later on in the episode, and she's shook from that. Um, I think it's an interesting story. It has a lot of elements. Uh, it's a sad I can't go into detail, but I don't want to make this video so long. I'm pulling out bits I enjoyed, or found interesting, obviously. And an 8 out of 10 again. Yet again, getting 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10. This, this series is phenomenal, and it gets even better later on. Uh, episode 4 now, and the Cyber Woman. Yes, basically, we have um, um, Yonto's girlfriend who worked in Torchwood 1. Linking back with uh, Series 2 of Doctor Who, yet again, it's in the same universe. It's beautiful to link them up. And Owen uh, is pretty. He just kisses. Um, um, trying to think. Sorry. Gwen, he kisses Gwen in a situation where they think they're going to die. That leads into a plot thread throughout the series where they're basically cheating on Reese, her boyfriend, which I don't like the storyline of because it's disrespecting Reese and Reese is amazing. But Owen and um, has the first little cheats, I guess, and it leads a thread throughout the series, especially in Countryside where they cheat again. Uh, also, we see the first kiss with Captain Jack and Yonto, but Captain Jack's ready to kill Yonto in certain, certain aspects. And they're having that battle, Yonto versus Captain Jack, and it's such a rivalry, and the acting is phenomenal. Uh, the CGI kind of does live up, kind of doesn't. Uh, basically, how the, talk, the Cybermen is presented is in a sexy cyber outfit. Why not? It's for adults. Let's have a sexy cyber woman. And uh, she's in a cyber bikini and she gets stabbed by Owen. We think she, he, she's dead. She comes back to life and comes after. Captain Jack getting electrocuted by a Cyberman, getting deleted. Thank you. I've always wanted to see Captain Jack versus Cyberman. I would like to see it more in Doctor Who, but it probably won't happen now. Uh, yeah. Uh, basically, we have all these positions. Uh, Gwen and Yonto. Uh, and Owen are trying to survive, and we have Tashiko who's trying to keep the base secure and security, and then we have Captain Jack trying to warn him off, and he can survive the deletion, uh, and the Cyber Woman is basically, uh, that dynamic with Yonto is such a lovely scene, but yet again, it's bad for her. She's dead, technically. She's a cyber. She's not human anymore. She's a cyber woman. She just wants to upgrade and convert. And then Captain Jack tricks her, puts a bit of ketchup on her, and the dinosaur. I'm going to say dinosaur because I don't know my dinosaurs. Uh, basically, tries to kill her, and it's Cybermen versus dinosaur. And I absolutely love that fight. It's a bit iffy with the CGI, but it's beautiful. Um, then we think she's dead, and the, the dinosaurs are alright. The Cybermen dead on the floor comes back up again. Uh, this pizza woman comes down and Yonto's left with a decision. Um, the cyber woman's took her brain and put it in the pizza woman and now she can be with Yonto again. Ah, happy ending. Nope. Captain Jack, bam, bam, bam. End of that. And that's how we leave it. And Yonto's betrayed the torture team. Is he going to survive? And Captain Jack lets him back in with a simple nod. You're, you're, you're okay, you can still come with us. And thank God we still have Yonto. He's an amazing character and such a nice dynamic between them, even though they were rivals and punching each other earlier. Um, I do feel sorry for Yonto. It, ha it brings his character to light. He's been quite in the shadows recently, but his character starts to grow from this point onwards. And yeah, uh, Cyber Woman... Uh, being hidden in a torture base is quite a nice interesting scene as well until she starts getting noticed and start killing people and upgrading and the upgrading of that Chinese man is graphical and I love it um, 8 out of 10 again and now we're on to the worst episode of torture so far Small World Oof 
basically we have Captain Jack, um, in the past we learn about him in the, I think I've written down the date, 1909. Uh, he was a soldier and his whole team died by fairies. And then he has a girlfriend from the past and they, they stay together throughout life. She's an old woman and then uh, Captain Jack's an older man. He's, he, he pretends to be Captain Jack's son in a way, so she still thinks that he's, um, so he can still be with his girlfriend in a way, who's sadly like in her 80s to 90s. And she dies by fairies as well, and Captain Jack's distraught, and the fairies keep killing people in interesting ways. There's this pedo that's trying to touch this girl up, and, um, Basically, the fairy, the fairies, because she's the chosen girl, she kills him and tortures him, and he's in a prison cell, and they do killing in different ways, and these petals choking you is interesting as hell. And yeah, they kill each other and choke each other in different ways, and it's interesting. And then we have the little girl, the chosen one's stepdad, and he hits her at some point, and then he gets killed off, and the mom, the mom, loses the chosen one, her daughter, and her husband all at once, and what a tragedy, and she's beating Captain Jack up and blaming him, and it's so sad, and she has a realistic family, and also the little girl also tries to kill her uh, friends in the part in the school, uh, these, um, yeah, she gets her little minions to kill them, to try and kill them, they don't actually die, I don't think, but yeah. Um, yeah, I just thought the, basically the petals killing each other was quite interesting, and yeah, the pixels, uh, whatever you want to call them, flying about and then turning evil, it was quite an interesting dynamic, but it was boring, and it dragged and dragged and dragged, I do like Captain Jack to learn about his history, but no one had a lot to do in the Tortured team, and yeah, has to be a 6 out of 10 for me. Uh, next up is the last story we we're reviewing, Countryside, and what a beautiful one to be. Every 10 years, there's an event. Uh, not just an event, it is uh, every 10 years, they go out and start killing people. And it's basically like, um, hold on, Hot Fuzz, I've got a DVD over there. It's basically like Hot Fuzz, everyone's involved, everyone in the village, everyone in Countryside is killing people and eating them and being cannibals. And we think it's alien, and it's a plot twist where it's not alien, it's actually humans killing them, which is interesting. Uh, Captain Jack's a badass in this, and he saves the day with the torture team, everyone's going to get eaten, and Captain Jack goes boom, 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 and he saves the day. And then the policeman's about to shoot Captain Jack, and he's like, really? Bam! And Captain Jack saves the day, and they all get arrested by proper policemen, because there's a policeman that's actually in on it as well, and eating people. Um... Yeah, uh, and we think we're safe, and Gwen and Yon and Owen are safe, and then they're not because, well, the policeman's in on it as well. And this man who's beating up Yanto, and you're like, oh my god, Yanto might die in this situation. And the way he treated Tosh and them being tricked, and then his wife, the the cannibal's wife, uh, she's tricking them and saying, is there any more of you? We need to save you. And then when she finds out, there's only three left. Um, Jack, uh, that boy I think, and Captain Jack, they're like, right, okay, now we can kill you and we can do all this, rah, and you know, and you're like, whoa, uh, yeah, the human aspect is quite creepy, and there is creepiness elements in the story, and it is very interesting, probably one of the best Torchwood ones for series one, uh, Countryside has to be a 9 out of 10, and I really enjoy it, and the plot twist and the darkness of it, yeah, that's my opinions of series one of Torchwood so far. I've got five, six episodes left to review, which I will review in a couple days time. It may be Wednesday, it may be uh, Saturday. It depends when this video is out. It will be either Wednesday or a Saturday I release the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please, please subscribe. It'd be amazing if we could get subscribers up and get a bit noticed. And I do do Doctor Who. This is why it's a Doctor Who channel. But I'm doing Torchwood month for two months in a way. So we've kind of took two months of Torchwood. Top tens, best part, uh, worth, uh, worst five stories, best five stories of Torchwood and character review and top five monsters of Torchwood as well. And I'm ranking and reviewing each episode of Torchwood. 
and then we get back to Doctor Who and review Doctor Who episodes and stuff to come. I've also done a lot of videos, so go check out my Series 12 Uber review, my Series 11 Uber review, which I recently updated, and I did Best Possible Series and Worst Possible Series, got permission off the Who Edits for them two videos, uh, spin-off ideas, my own Doctor Who story, I've done so much, and Sonic's uh, TARDIS console reviews, all sorts, so yeah. There's a lot of videos already out on the channel, so you should check out the Doctor Who related. A lot more torture to come. So, yeah, see you guys very soon for my second part for Series 1. And hopefully you enjoy this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for my next video. See you guys soon.